Hey guys, it's Yvette. Just got paid. It's Friday night. Party hunting. Feeling right. <laughs> I just feel good tonight. I don't know why. It is Friday. That could be part of it. And I wasn't really craving uh, some coffee. So, bam! Mama got some wine. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's been a long week. Anywho, look what was in my mailbox. It's my cotton cuts. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I know, I know, I know, I know. I want to open it. Open it. <laughs> I swear I've just started this glass of wine. I would never do this unprofessionally. <laughs> Uh, so, okay, I got my cotton cuts. Caution, opening box may lead to spontaneous quilting. Well, let's hope so. Because I'm ready to sew tonight. And I got to finish up uh, Love Supreme. And I'm so excited. Okay, let's open this up and start this game. Let's go. <laughs> you know, it's like America's favorite game. There we go. We're on the inside. I always do this lately, putting the thing in y'all's face. Okay. We got Jelly Bean helping out. Jelly Bean, you don't want any wine, baby. I promise. Okay. Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you, every month it's been like speaking to me. Make your dreams happen. Yes, ma'am. I will. Thank you for that reminder, Kim. Um, okay, the designer spotlight for this month is JD's Custom Quilts. We are Jill and Amy, two friends who love quilting God and our families. In 2015, God led Jill's family to the same church in South Central Wisconsin that Amy was already attending. We quickly realized that we had similar hobby, hobbies, and in the summer of 2018, we realized that we could combine our knowledge and creativity to educate and empower new quilters. That's awesome. That is really, that's, isn't that ideal? And you never know when these things are going to happen. Oh my goodness. Jill is a stay-at-home homeschooling mom to three amazing active kids. She is the brain behind the pattern design and math, the creator of our test and sample quilts, and the writer of a supporting educational blog geared toward beginning quilters. Amy is a photographer, wife, and avid creator and quilter who has a passion for creating things with her camera and her hands, usually all at the same time. She formats and photographs our patterns and creates supporting educational YouTube content. Awesome. Okay, so this is Jill and Amy. There they are. Hopefully it's focusing in well enough. And we do get to choose um, one of their patterns. So I will pick one. I don't know which one. I already have a pineapple paper, paper piece pattern. I, my eyes are drawn toward this one. But like I've said before, I don't know if it's because of the color or what. I don't know. I'm going to have to really study this one. Okay, so we do get to choose one pattern that we get for free every month. And the block of the month is Old Windmill. And again, if you want to color in the color sheet and you want to post a photo of it on Instagram before the 15th of the month with the hashtag CC Color Challenge, hashtag CC Color Challenge, um, then you're entered to win two yards of fabric, which is nothing to shake a stick at. I'll tell you what, that could be like $25 value. That's awesome. Okay. Um, ah, uh, Kim did my box. Thank you, Kim. I don't even know if Kim's ever done it before. She must've, I mean, seriously, I've been doing this box forever and a day. <laughs> she must've at some point. <laughs> Um, okay, so Kim filled my box with floral, reproduction, holiday seasonal, juvenile and children's, and then something from the Cotton Cuts vault. Those scare me. 
Yep. Those scare me because the name of it isn't on here. And so I don't know what it might be. Uh, but before we get to that, let's talk about the lanyap for this month. Uh, this month, our special thank you is the newest and cutest More Floral Pets Please panel. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You guys, look how cute this is. Oh my goodness. Okay, look. We have an ant. We got a dragonfly. Is that a worm? We got a worm. <laughs> we have, looks like a butterfly. And then we have, is that a, what is that? A bee? I'm not sure what that is, but I can tell you what I would call it. Adorable. Look how cute that is. <laughs> we have a ladybug, sort of. She's not red, but ladybug. And then another butterfly. Oh my goodness, I love this. I love this. Thank you so much, Cotton Cuts. That's so cute. Okay, that's the lanyap. And here is my lovely bundle. There it is, pretty as pie. Okay, let me scooch the box down. And then take clear some room. <laughs> Take off the ribbon. Okay, so here it is. Now, before I get started, let me just tell you that the floral for this month is Goldenrod by One Canoe Two for Moda Fabrics. The reproduction is, oh, I haven't even heard of this. Richmond circa 1862 by Nancy, Ge is it Gear? I think it's Nancy Gear. Nancy Gear for Wyndham Fabrics. And the holiday seasonal is Sunkissed by Lamani for Figo Fabrics. The Juvenile and Children's is Celebrate by Sandra Clemens for Michael Miller. And then again from the Cotton Cuts Vault. I think I probably should have put more wine in this glass. Hi, Smudgy. Are you going to come over, baby? Did y'all hear Smudgy talk? Come on, baby. We're doing cotton cuts. It's not, it's not cat lady box. But it's still loads of fun for mommy. Okay. You guys... I think that I have seen Sunkist uh, by Lamani for Figo Fabrics. I'm pretty sure I have seen that, but I do not remember what it looks like. Um, and I have seen absolutely none of the others. <laughs> not <laughs> This is going to be hilarious because not at all. <laughs> All right, so my first job is going to be putting together the fabrics that at least look like they belong together. Because <laughs> that might help. Maybe. Um, okay, let me scooch the little box over for a minute. And let me um, spread these out. Let me see. <laughs> All right, I'm looking at this guy first. And this one. And this one. I think those three all go together. And I don't think, so I'm kind of looking, I don't think any of the others go with that group. So, all right, so just as to eliminate, I think this must be the floral because nothing else that I see here would I personally put in a floral category. So I'm going to say that this is Goldenrod by One Canoe Two for Moda. Okay, and here is the first fabric that I am seeing is in that group. And you guys, I normally do not like florals that much. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know how it's coming across on camera, but in person, it's gorgeous. That color, the colors that are in that flower are just gorgeous. 
I actually really love this right now. Okay, so there's that one. And then here is the second one that I think goes in that group. Again, there it's just that that coral color they are using. I think it's gorgeous. And I just love this pattern in it. I just love that. It makes me want to make something with it. I don't know. I just, and I love whenever fabric does that to me. I love it. Who knew? <laughs> I'm going to have to look at the rest of the line and see if I feel the same way. Because, you know, sometimes it's like you find a couple in, in a line and you really like them and then the rest you don't. Um, this is really pretty too, guys. Look at that mint. And then the depth of that white in the flower. It's just so pretty. Maybe it'll look better this way. That is gorgeous. Okay, so I am really liking, I'm hoping this is Goldenrod by One Canoe 2, but whatever it is, I love it. I think it's gorgeous. Okay, so now we have Reproduction, Holiday Seasonal, Juvenile Children's. Let's just forget about the vault right now because <laughs> when they throw that in and I'm doing this thing, it like terrifies me. Okay, so let's see. All right, like this and this. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. All right, this has got to, okay. I'm just gonna pull this out first. <laughs> because I think these two go together. I think these two are the Juvenile and Children's Fabrics, which is Celebrate by Sandra Clemens for Michael Miller. Okay, here's the first one. And I think it's adorable, by the way. And this just seems to me like something that you would put on kids' fabric, right? It's bubblegum machine. And so it's basically white fabric with a toss of bubblegum machines. So it could either go this way or this way. Right? Right? That's really adorable. And I'm pretty sure this guy goes with it because those colors in the gumball machine like go with it. Plus it's got like party balloons. So I'm thinking that that's in the Celebrate line. Um, and it's what it looks like. And you can see they've got regular balloons and then they got the one little puppy dog balloon. That's really pretty. I love how it looks watercolor. I love that. I love that effect like in pretty much any line. I love when it's got that watercolor effect. Okay, so I'm pretty sure these two are Celebrate. All right, so we still have Reproduction, Holiday Seasonal, and The Vault. Reproduction? I mean, the only thing that even remotely looks reproduction to me is this. And I'll be honest, like, I don't know why you would throw <laughs> I think she would throw this one in because, look, this is the one that I think is that one. Maybe she threw it in just to have a little more lavender to go with this, right? <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Because otherwise, if it were for that, ah. <laughs> but I think, and let's hope I'm right. I think that this is Richmond circa 1862 by Nancy Gear for Wyndham Fabrics. That's what I'm thinking this is. I'm just going to hold it in all the directions so you can see. Okay. If I'm right about that, that means that everything that is still here is holiday seasonal or the vault oh my goodness god that wine is good okay i'm gonna attempt to figure out if any of this looks like holiday seasonal because i'll be honest with you none of it looks holiday seasonal to me <laughs> but it must be right because that's probably what she would have given me most of <laughs> I 
Okay, going out on a limb here. I'm going to say... <laughs> okay, first of all, I don't know why it's taken me till 16 minutes into the video to tell you guys this. If this is your first time here, if something comes out of my mouth and it is different from what is scrawling on the, on the bottom of the screen here, please know that whatever's on the bottom of the screen is correct. Because right now, I am like flying by the seat of my pants trying to figure out what these fabrics are. <laughs> and I will do all the research before I post the video. So if I'm incorrect, or even if I'm correct, I will put on the bottom of the screen the correct name of the fabric line you are looking at, along with the designer and the design house. Okay. I think that... These four are sun-kissed by Lamani for Figo Fabrics. That's what I think. All right, let's look at these fabrics. Here's the first one. Um, I love this with the lull sail boats. I mean, how could you not love this? That's very fun. I love it. That is loads of fun. That's really cute. Okay. Um... That's fabric one, and I'm going to show you this one. Now, the reason why I'm saying this one is because, to me, these look like beach houses, which would sort of go with the sailboat theme, right? That's what I'm thinking. So, these look like beach houses, something that would be right on the beach that maybe you would stay um, for a vacation. Maybe there would be, I don't know, a hole in the bottom, and it's over the water who knows okay so that's what i'm saying is the second fabric in sun kissed okay and then i hope i'm right about this okay i don't know why but i'm throwing this in there with it I, i'm thinking this is as well and so I'm thinking that this is fabric number three in Sunkissed. That this this color right here, which is like, um, oh my gosh, I know the I know what I'm thinking of, and I can't think of the name, or it just won't come out. Mustard. So this dark mustard color sort of like looks like this light mustard color that is in the first one with the sailboat. So that's what I'm kind of going for sort of and then along that line i think that these little flowers right here sort of look like the ones that are on here see so these two i am quite sure go together and i'm just thinking this is all in that one line that it's sun kissed and those sort of look like sunflowers to me so i'm just going to kind of go with it sun kissed and then again here is this fabric just to show you a little more of it. And I'm really surprised, actually, if I'm correct. Because Figo Fabrics tends to be kind of modern for me. Like, I don't, um, I don't usually, like, gravitate toward their designs. But I'm really liking this. At least the ones that I'm seeing here, if I'm correct. Um, I'm liking this line a bit. It's not like crazy modern to me you know okay so i think those are and if i'm correct <laughs> that means that these two are from the vault why on earth kim would give me these from the vault i'm sure i don't know and i'm sure i'll hear from her <laughs> maybe just to make the fat quarter bundle a little more cohesive I don't know um, and I don't know what this line is let me see if there's any selvage there is but it has nothing on it okay so I'm really going by the seat of my pants and I don't know what this line is at all there's probably no way for me to figure it out by just searching online um, so I don't know we'll have to see but I'm thinking oh I'm sorry I folded the whole thing up I'm thinking that this is one of the cotton cuts vault vault pieces that she put in 
And this is a dark navy blue, guys. I don't know what it's coming across as, but it's like a dark navy blue. And this is also dark navy blue. Oh, let me see if there's some, some selvage in here. Oh, this says Lewis and Irene. Threaded with love. Form D, F-O-R-M-E. Hmm. I do like Lewis and Irene, but I do not remember Lewis and Irene being this geometric. I don't remember seeing this one, probably because I didn't like gravity toward it, but I love Lewis and Irene. Anyway, if this, so this is definitely from the vault because it's not on the list. Nope, it's not on the list. Okay, so there we go. Those are our fabrics. I want you guys to let me know what you think. Um, I hope you like playing the game as much as I do. I When this box comes in every month, I am like a kid in a candy store. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to get it open and play the game and have fun. And I just think it's loads of fun. I love it. I love it. And I'm still saying that for right now, that gold, if I'm correct about what it is, the Golden Rod by One Canoe 2 from Moda. I'm loving that. I think that's my favorite out of this box this month. Um, very close second would have to be Celebrate by Sandra Clemens for Michael Miller because I love those kids brands. You guys know how I am. I'm like big giant kid over here. Um, so here it is again. That I, I just, I'm really happy with with this collection, Kim. Thank you so much. Even though I have no idea why you would put those two in. <laughs> I still love it. I love it. These would be, I just definitely will find a place for it. You know, it's not something I would normally get. And that's the first thing I'm going to need. So thank you so much for continuing to just love little old me. And um, I just love you guys. You guys know, I, if y'all don't know, I love the Cotton Cuts ladies, every single one of them. And I am blessed to be able to spend um, every quilt market with them in their house. Um, you know, wherever they stay, I follow. I'm like a little puppy. And right now, I have to say, I am missing them a lot because they are such wonderful ladies. I love spending time with them and with Sheila Christensen who is always there with us as well. She is the um, the mystery quilter. She is the one who puts together those awesome puzzle mystery quilts. And so I just want to let you guys know, if you ladies are watching, that I miss you so much. I love you so much. And I'm so happy that all of you guys are watching this video and spending this time with me. Thank you so much. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and consider ringing that bell because they'll let you know every time I have a video posted and a thumbs up if you had just as much fun as I did tonight. And I'll see you in the next video. Mwah. Love you guys.